Medina. It's funny because people think I'm talking to myself. What's this guy walking around in his helmet talking to himself? My buddy Michael's here and we're heading out to Samoa. Say hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to fire these things up and go check out the beach. We'll see you out there. Yeah, guys, we're heading to Samoa Dunes. Still don't have my microphone hooked up, but that's going to be happening real soon. chipper isn't it it's uh it's all sunny and warm in blue lake right now <laughs> we rode right into the bad weather that's all right it's what it's all about up here <laughs> you want to you know where we're going all right i'll leave my microphone darn it he's busy working I understand you gotta be careful here there's a lot of sand uh oh uh, speaking of damn it uncool and here we are They're a little rusty. Yeah, that was from the fire. Mmm. Remember we had a fire and then what happened is some of this mist came in mm -hmm. and then we had an ash fall and I had both bikes covered. This is when I, uh, you haven't been over where I live yet, but I had them parked near the street out in front of John's uh, long black trailer where he keeps his uh, GT500 Shelby Cobra. Right. Um, 
Mustang. Mm hmm. All silver and black, just like the one in Gone in 60 Seconds. Oh, okay. He calls it Eleanor. be darn out here on a canoe fishing hey did you catch anything What's that? you catch anything oh nice right on good job I, I would be stoked. right on out there. Yeah. Yeah. Even today it was a little rough for being so flat when you well, get out there. Right. Well, you've done good, man. Yeah. Take I'll that take sucker it. down to San Francisco and sell it in the fish market. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I just got a. Uh, went out to the Redwood Curtain. Whoa, Whoa, you see that one jump right there? Was that a fish? Yeah. Or a bird? It sure was. Big one, too. It was a fish. Was that a fish? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Salmon moving in. I mean, salmon already do come in here. Right, right. Maybe you better grab that net behind you and go over and check him out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with. Uh, I know. I would be too. I don't want to lose any more setups. Uh, nice. Right. The ling. Yep. Got yeah, ling cod and cabazon both. Going in there, going for halibut. Yeah. Nothing. And I'm not alone. I've been hearing a lot of that. Yeah. Right. Slow this year. Third. You been out here all day? Huh? You been out here all day? No, no, I uh, I took the last like four hours of tide. I got out. I, I headed out about 10:30. Right. Take the tide out. Let it go out for another few hours, and uh, about 2 2:30 2 it started coming back in. Right. About three. Right. 3:30. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, check. Hold on. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, well, good luck. Yeah. It's uh, 324. 324. Yeah. Internal clock still working. The internal clock is working. <laughs> All right. And you got two of the tasty fish in the ocean besides halibut is is uh, lingcod and uh, cabazon. Oh yeah. 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 I was surprised I didn't get any snapper. Usually the black, black, they call them black cod. That's yeah. that's what I usually get with. Uh, I used to come out here and go out to the dolos with mud worms, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd get them all day long. Yeah. Or just those little uh. Those little grubs, those little plastic white ones with some scent on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the rockfish all day long. I, that's what I even went for. Usually, I uh, you go for you know the bigger swim baits, but you know I just want to catch some fish. So I bought squid mm -hmm. and and regular hooks and jigs and setups and went for bait. And, nice. Uh, got the ling on the bait and the other one on a swim bait. Cool. cool. Yeah. Well, you done good with a lingcod and a cabazon. That I would be patting myself on the back. It didn't hurt so bad. You gonna eat them? For that area, it, it, it's tough in that area. When I yeah. first started going out, they were breaking all over because that that outgoing tide and the incoming swell, it it does that river effect where right. it will break on top, kind of. Mm -hmm. It's enough to knock you over. Right. You know, if you're not paying attention, you get hit sideways with one of those. You know, ones that cap over like that, they will knock you down. Oh, yeah. And in front of the dolos, not a good spot to go swimming. Mm -mm. All right, fellas. Take care. All right, good talking to you. I hope you enjoyed the views of the bay, and uh, we're going to take the bridge that goes across into Eureka. So that should be uh, another cool thing to see. So we're going to head on out, and stay tuned. Got uh, sand all over the road there and coming in. I had to go off onto the shoulder, so we're just gonna put our way on out of here. And look at the sun's coming out. 
some kind of night. I want to give a shout out to my best brother in the whole wide world. My combat buddy, Gary T. Endershad. Gary Endershad. Love you, brother. And all the videos I've made, I've never mentioned his name, but uh, yeah. See, this is sketchy right here. got a twin cam mine isn't All right. this, is, this is the 80 cubic inch that's got the 88 oh you got the 96 yeah, yeah. guys uh my buddy was going a little fast back there it's a 50 mile an hour zone uh through here on the corridor i'm going to show you why exactly i don't uh i don't go too fast through here i'm going to show you guys why i don't speed through this area they get you every time sunshine and I took off one exit a little bit early here um, take a different way home and uh, kind of wrap this video up uh, yeah we saw some cool stuff man guy with a lot of fish lots of boats uh, it made my afternoon anyways guys thanks for coming along RHC always appreciates the uh, thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, guys. It'll help my channel. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.